like many parts of the country, weather warnings were given to keep off the roads unless your journey was absolutely necessary. And this was the perfect excuse to spend a day filming in the garden. Because of the frozen ground and the covering of snow, I put out apples and pears on the ground in the morning. I hadn't seen a thrush in the garden for months. Then, like waiting for a bus, three came along at once. Putting out the apples and pears really paid off, as they attracted a field fair, red wing and a song thrush. The red wing is unmistakable, with its prominent pale stripe above the eye, and its rusty red flanks and underwing. It's the smallest of our thrushes, being just slightly smaller than the song thrush. It's just resting between bouts of feeding, with its feathers all puffed out as insulation against this bitter cold. And now back to have another go at this pair. It's a winter visitor to the UK, and on its arrival in the autumn, it feeds on fruit and berries. As these become scarce, it moves out into the country and feeds mainly on earthworms. If we then get any prolonged frosts and periods of snow, this is when you're most likely to see them, as they turn their attention to town parks and gardens. Along with the missile thrush, the song thrush is a year-round resident in this country and can be seen in gardens at any time of the year. But unfortunately, not as frequently as it used to be, because of a severe decline in its population. The song thrush only has very faint light stripes above the eye. Its main distinctive feature are the dark arrow-shaped spots on its breast and flanks. The field fair is the largest of these three thrushes, and just like the red wing, it's a winter visitor, and it also has a very similar diet. And in hard times like this, it will often visit gardens, and sometimes in quite large numbers. It's the most colourful and most easily recognised of our thrushes, with its light grey head and rump, and dark chestnut wings and back, and a striking yellow-orange breast covered in bold dark spots. As it turned out, it was a good day to stay at home and let the birds come to me.